I have before me the latest Acer Swift 3 OLED, a laptop that I'm seeing would be great for photographers, graphic designers, and digital artists, as well as music production. And we'll talk about why here in just a minute. I'm diving into music production, getting more and more videos for you guys. And I know you guys have been asking a lot about it. So I'm trying to bring it to you. I'm learning as much as I can to give you guys the most value content possible. Now, the reason I think this is such a great pick for graphic designers, photographers, and artists is the OLED screen. Now, this is a very similar laptop to the Acer Swift X, which I'll be doing a full head-to-head -head comparison between these two laptops in a future video. So keep an eye out for that one. But just in a nutshell, the reason that this laptop is better than the Acer Swift X for photographers and artists and graphic designers is because though it lacks a dedicated GPU, it has an OLED screen, which is very color accurate. When it comes to digital art, graphic design, and photography, the GPU does not really yield you much improvement of performance. And so by switching out the GPU for a better screen, this is a perfect laptop for you guys. You can see the color gamut range, brightness, and color accuracy coming up on the screen. And this is a stellar display. It's so sharp. It's got darker darts, brighter brights, and vibrant colors. And so I think this would be a great choice for you. Now, it still does have a huge kick in performance with the i7-12700H, and we'll get into the benchmarks here in just a minute. But I'm going to cover a few more things that I didn't get to in my unboxing. For instance, how the speakers sound, uh, and here's a quick sample for you of that. And also, if you didn't catch the unboxing, here's a quick sample of the webcam for you. This is the webcam on the Acer Swift 3 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Probably one of the best webcams I have reviewed in the past few months. This looks great. Now, I like the keyboard. It comes with a fingerprint reader. It has a nice, simple layout, full-size shift key. Hooray for that. Acer does not often do the full-size shift key on some of their laptops. They often do like a two-thirds shift key, and that I just, I'm not fond of that. So I love this. Now, the trackpad is one area for creators that I feel could be better. Um, it is a smaller trackpad, and this is one area that I would say might kind of cramp your workflow. I wish it was slightly larger. We do have room to make it bigger, but Acer has gone with this smaller trackpad for the past couple of years, hopefully in a future iteration this will become a slightly larger trackpad. Now the thermals and fan noise on this laptop are good. Uh, we have about a 50 decibel fan noise on default mode. I can't change the default mode and that was during the 4k export so I'm really pushing the laptop as hard as it can possibly go. I wish it had less fan noise honestly uh, just because it can be a little irritating but I would say that the thermal is really good. So we have in the mid 70s for the thermals and for music production I feel like the fan noise would be one thing that would keep me from being like, yes, this is absolutely the best laptop for music production. But the reason I think it's a really good laptop for music production is because this laptop has very high single core performance. And that is something that's very important for music production. Now, because it doesn't have a dedicated GPU, I would caution you away from running multiple monitors on this laptop, but it would be great for that single core performance inside of the channels, inside of a DAW. It's just gonna really have great performance in that way. Now, though this does have great single core performance and will be a strong, powerful laptop, the on-the-go friendliness is not that great. The battery life on this laptop was slightly disappointing. It had about six hours and 41 minutes for productivity, about five hours and 20 minutes for streaming video playback, and then it just dropped off from there with Photoshop and video editing. So you're definitely gonna wanna bring the charger along with you for this specific laptop. Before I forget, we're trying to reach 100,000 subscribers by Christmas, and Lenovo sent over three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros to give away once we hit 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe, like this video, and share it out so we can get to 100,000 subscribers faster, and then we can kick off that giveaway. The giveaway has not started yet, but it will start once we reach 100,000 subscribers. All right, now let's jump right into benchmarks, and this is what I'm talking about if we look at Geekbench Single Core and Multi Core. You can see it's one of the top performers on the Geekbench chart making it a great laptop for music production. Remember, we want high single core performance when we're running music production inside of a DAW. It's very important. And so that is one area that this laptop really excels. And with the absence of a dedicated GPU, you can save some money on this laptop. If you wanted a laptop with this much single core performance inside of a popular gaming laptop, it would be three to four to five, $600 more 
than this laptop is. So I really like that for this specific laptop. Save you a little bit of money, but still give you great performance. Now, as we get into single core and multi-core for Cinebench, you can see it still holds near the top of the charts for both of those tests. So again, a great performer for music production, but also for digital artists, graphic designers, and photographers. And I'm gonna prove it to you right here with the Photoshop benchmark. Hitting one of the higher scores with a 776 inside of Photoshop. Anything above a 700 range is gonna have fantastic performance inside of Photoshop and other creator tools like Sketch, Figma, and the Adobe Creative Suite. So definitely a good laptop for Photoshop. Now, if you're gonna be using this laptop for video editing, it's gonna be good, but it's not gonna be stellar. We actually do have 149 drop frames in 4K. And if we run 6K B-RAW at half quality, we have about 1,543. So this laptop could handle 4K video editing, but without a dedicated GPU, it's not gonna be as good as its counterpart, the Acer Swift X. So this would be maybe a reason to choose the Acer Swift X, which comes with a RTX 3050 Ti, giving you a better boost in performance for processing video with that dedicated graphics card. Now, as we move on to the export time, we still do have a good export time from this laptop, about five minutes and 16 seconds. And with the absence of a dedicated GPU, I'm really happy with that export time. Should you buy the Acer Swift 3 OLED? If you're a digital artist, graphic designer, or photographer with that OLED screen, it's a fantastic buy. Like I said, if you're in music production with that high single core performance in the absence of a dedicated GPU, you're getting the best bang for buck in this laptop. Now the battery life isn't great and there's not really much control over the fan modes. And so that leaves you kind of allowing the system to decide the fan noise and the thermoregulation on its own. So that would be probably one of the downsides of this laptop. It doesn't have as much control, which limits on how the noise and thermals are regulated. It's left to the system, not you. But at the $1,100 to $1,300 price point, depending on when you're watching this video, you can check live pricing in the description below if you wanna know the exact price right now. It's a great buy. It has a lot going for it, and it has a very specific use case, which I've named in this video, which I think could get a lot of value out of it. Remember to subscribe so we can hit 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. That would be amazing. Kick off that giveaway. Likes of this video has brought you some value, and of course, links are in the description below if you wanna make a purchase or check out the live pricing. I'll see you here in the next video.